The internet is a place that is positively crammed full of people behaving badly. Sometimes those people are women, and sometimes those women are doing some truly awful things. When women act in a certain way, the internet likes to call them Karens and upload videos of them for everyone to stare at in disbelief, and sometimes those videos can be shocking, while at others, they're just embarrassingly ridiculous. And so, we've trawled through and scraped the bottom of that particular barrel just for you, and here's what we found. But really quickly, before we get cracking on this one, I'd like to point out that there are actually some extremely nice people out there who are named Karen. My hairdresser is one. And this habit of calling all these terrible jerks Karen does those nice ones a real disservice. So it's sort of a disclaimer on their behalf. Other Karens are indeed available, you know. Here are 20 times Karens face justice. Enjoy! Number 20. Airplane Karen Screaming Here we are, straight out of the gate with a moment on an airplane. The most common place for people of all genders to work themselves into furious frenzies over next to nothing. This time, we're watching an especially angry woman as she unleashes a barrage of rage on a Spirit Airlines flight out of Las Vegas. I mean, if you've ever traveled with Spirit, maybe you've had a similar sensation? Who could possibly say? <laughs> this woman and her male traveling companion would be removed from the flight before it had taken off. People, because they are the worst, also enjoyed this spectacle enormously and jeered at the couple. So, in retaliation, the woman, who is now charmingly known as an internet Karen, turned around and yelled at everyone, Hope you all crash and die. Such dignity and poise that we've never seen before. After all of those shenanigans, the pilot got up and left the plane as well. This is not usually a good sign. A lot of people have suggested he was going to have the woman added to a no-fly list. Now, admittedly, the footage does not show exactly what she did to be removed from the flight in the first place, but we can only assume that her winning personality probably played a big part in that particular incident as well. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. What in the world is happening here? This image, we are told, depicts a woman in a courtroom who pulled out a plastic pistol in an effort to attempt an escape. Now, I can't really vouch for the authenticity of the story. It's based on a few random internet ports about the event, and they say that after the initial kerfuffle, the officers around her quickly realized that the gun was not real, and they handcuffed her. But who could possibly say? Do you know what happened here? Is this what happens when a Karen goes to prison? Is this a real gun? Is it a real courtroom? Am I in reality right now? Where has my mind gone? Please comment down below using the hashtag FancyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on the screen. Number 19. California Grandma Flips a Table I'm not really sure what's happening to start off this chain of events, but it certainly escalated quite quickly. It appears as though a customer at this restaurant was far too important to wait any longer for her takeout order, so she began yelling at employees and then began throwing stuff. Well, that's when Grandma stepped in and showed this angry woman that she's not going to be standing for that kind of behavior around her family. The scene turns quickly with the customer throwing objects at the staff. Doris Campos, the owner and the grandma, then comes forward to stop the woman attacking her family. She flips the table over and uses it to keep the furious customer at a safe distance to usher her out of the door. It's all kind of insane for a moment, but it seems to be how stuff goes for people working in restaurants and coffee shops these days. They should probably all get training in Granny Doris's table self-defense. Number 18. Woman Throws Coffee at a Trooper in yet another scene in which a woman seems to have slightly lost her mind, we are here to witness things escalating over nothing more than a cup of coffee. From a Burger King, no less. I mean, is it actually even worth getting arrested for a cup of super average Burger King coffee? Probably not. 
But here we are in Pittsburgh, where a woman named Sonia Connors took it upon herself to get behind the counter and pour herself a cup of coffee. Pours herself a cup of coffee, is confronted by one of the assistant managers. And when a member of the staff said she couldn't be back there because, you know, all that safety and legal stuff, well, that's when she absolutely lost her shiz. She then shoved an employee on her way out of the restaurant without having paid for her coffee. State troopers were called in, and they found the woman in a store next door to the Burger King. This is where CCTV footage would capture her interactions with the law. The troopers attempted to engage the woman about the cup of coffee that she was still holding, and she walks away. Then suddenly, she launches said hot beverage at the police and was promptly arrested for aggravated assault. It seems like that probably didn't need to go so far, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 17. Target Karen Destroys Face Masks Back in the dark days of 2020, the world was going through a whole bunch of changes. Some of these made some people extra angry and extremely irrational. The whole idea of wearing a face mask was about protecting others from potentially deadly germs, but to some conspiracy theory lunatics, they believed that this was D-Day in their campaign to protect their rights. I mean, the rights of other people to not get sick from idiots don't matter as much as some crazy person who wants to read batshiz nonsense on the internet, right? But here we are in a Target store in Arizona with a woman who truly believes that the face mask is not the public health initiative that it was intended to be, but rather it's the harbinger of the end times. And she's mad as hell about it. Mainly, it seems that she's mad at Target for selling the items in the first place. I mean, this is America after all. But how dare a capitalist enterprise attempt to make money by selling an item that is in high demand, especially when it goes against this woman's online conspiracy theory ideas? So she gives them the business and throws all the face masks on the floor. Yeah, up the revolution. Number 16. Woman yells at flight attendant. Flight attendants are the recipients of some pretty unpleasant behaviors. These people are at the front of the house for airlines, and they get to experience every tiny issue that every passenger might have. From fury over delays to vomiting children, the flight attendant has to deal with a lot. And so they really don't deserve this kind of horrible behavior from anyone. This video shows a Delta Airlines passenger screaming at a woman and her baby, utterly charming, I'm sure, and then she turns on the flight attendant and screeches about having to sit at the back of the plane, telling them that she'll have them fired. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. This is all the grossest and most entitled nonsense that I've ever seen. But in a twist of fate, the video clearly becomes available to the screaming woman's own employer, and they promptly suspend her for her disgusting behavior. Instant karma. Number 15. Angry Customer Throws Soup Here we are in Texas, where nothing like this ever usually happens. This must have been a very strange sort of day. This time, a woman had a complete loss of self-control and ended up injuring someone and putting herself in jail because her hot soup had melted the lid of the cup that it was in. <laughs> I know, this stuff is beggar's belief, but this is America land of the free and also of the most entitled. The woman is displeased with the lid situation of her scalding hot lunch, so naturally, she throws the entire thing into the face of the restaurant manager. It was all caught on video and immediately uploaded to TikTok, where it then went viral and was used as some fairly damning evidence against her when she would be charged with assault causing bodily injury. The result of these charges, if she's found guilty, and frankly, how could she not be, is up to a year in jail and a fine of about $4,000. Number 14. Karen Refuses to Wear a Mask Up next is another fascinating tale of mask rebellion. You know, the most noble of moral stands that have ever been taken. On this occasion, we're in a grocery store in Ohio where a woman has refused to wear a mask. You are so in trouble. I'm not. You are. Oh, no, 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 no. At that time, it was a state order and therefore a legal obligation, but the woman said that she knew better and refused. 
Oh, and then she also resisted arrest and yelled at the cops that she was going to sue them. She is, quite likely, one of the most knowledgeable and correct people that's ever walked the earth. So who the heck are these people to question her and all of her incredible wisdoms? In all, there is basically a cell phone standoff, everyone is filming everybody else, and she's yelling about all of her rights not to wear the mask. Well, yes but not in a store that requires it, genius. She also demands everyone's badge number and says that she's going to see them in court and blah, 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 and this and that. I'm sure you've seen this one before, and for all of her efforts, she then gets a ride in a police car at the end. Number 13. Disruptive Passenger Kicked Off Flight Yet again, we're witnessing even more disgusting behavior on an airplane. What is actually wrong with people? These grown-ass women really should know better, shouldn't they? But here, we have a 32-year-old woman who is throwing a huge temper tantrum of a JetBlue flight before it's even left the airport in Fort Lauderdale. I mean, honestly, she would have slammed her bedroom door if she could have. The story goes that she's mad that she's been seated next to a child and says that she's not going to sit there because she had been drinking all day. I mean, really? You can't tell? It's my shit. I'll get off the plane. Get my shit off the fucking under things. She's holding her drink with such grace and decorum. Anyways, it goes exactly as it seems it will. She rants and raves and then is removed from the plane. It's alleged that she even punched a JetBlue employee and was arrested. Such a charming woman. Have you ever had an encounter with a total jerk on an airplane? Go on and let me know all about it in the comments section down below. I am listening after all. Number 12. Karen Smashes Bus Windshield this is a video of a woman embarrassing herself and getting into trouble in the process. It's not entirely clear what her problem is. Some people have said that she's upset because she missed the bus, but it's not really obvious what the grievance might be. Her reaction doesn't really offer any clues either. She stands in the middle of the road, yelling furiously at the bus as it tries to exit the junction. But then she blocks the way, staging a one-woman protest at causes unknown. When she seems to get neither the response she's looking for nor the satisfaction of a properly dramatic moment, she then goes right ahead and marches up to the windshield and pounds on it in a fury. This was the moment where her ridiculous outbursts turned into a more serious and possibly criminal action, and the glass cracks under her fist. Now, all the people inside the bus are outraged, and she offers up a final tearful shouting at the bus doors before doing a rather comical jog away from the scene of the crime. Number 11. Woman Throws Hot Coffee What is it with all of these crazy people throwing hot liquids at everyone? I mean, honestly, it's like some sort of epidemic of madness sweeping the nation. Won't you all just calm down? This time we're in California where it seems as though the person in question may have been disturbed and her behavior could have been the result of a mental health issue. Just because remembering that I like screamed when she you know, threw the coffee at me. But even so, we do live in an era of perpetual filming where every single person on planet Earth films every single second of every single day and posts it onto the internet. So we get to see literally everything, whether we should or not. This woman was causing a disturbance in a coffee shop and apparently upsetting people, so she would be asked to leave. Then she uttered some expletives and threw her coffee at the shop's owner. Number 10. Woman Arrested at Fort Lauderdale Airport this video shows a woman who has clearly spent the entire day propping up at the airport bar and is unleashing some sort of torrent of filth and fury at this JetBlue employee. Apparently, she missed her flight and it's been delayed. You know, like thousands of other people every single day. She's caught on camera screaming in the employee's face, calling him outrageous things, and jumping onto the desk as she screeches. It's utterly baffling and completely insane. She even yells that she has a gun, which I'm sure that you all know. Is a very stupid thing to do at an airport. After a whole barrage of insults and rage, she then picks up her bag and staggers off. The next scene shows a moment when she's escorted away in handcuffs. I should imagine that whoever was due to sit next to her on whatever flight that she was meant to take had a fortunate escape. This woman was definitely going to have a lot to say, and she probably puked as well. 
Number 9. Dallas DA Lashes Out at Uber Driver Ah, good. Yet another drunken rant. What fun we're having together today. This time, we're taking an Uber with a Dallas district attorney, and she made an absolute spectacle of herself. Apparently, this is how it all went down. When DA Jody Warner took an Uber home after a whole bunch of adult beverages, she says that she felt uncomfortable with the route that her driver was taking her, and we all know that the best way to deal with discomfort is to swear a whole lot and threaten your driver. Anyways, Sean Platt, the Uber driver in question, took an audio recording of the prosecutor as she spewed forth a torrent of expletives, accusing him of crimes, and said that she would bring a kidnapping charge on him because she didn't like the route that he was driving. You know, all that standard stuff. Well, the result of this ridiculous debacle was that Warner was fired from the DA's office and she had to make a public statement about how bad her behavior had been. I want to apologize for my language. Um, to the district attorney's office. It was all very embarrassing and frankly not even worth it in the end. I mean, seriously, why is everyone so angry? Number 8. Plain Passenger Puts Gum in Woman's Hair Sometimes I really do wonder about people, you know? If this video is legit, then these people are all jerks. What appears to be happening is that a woman is sitting in a seat on an airplane with her hair draped over the headrest and onto the TV screen behind her. This then annoys the woman who is sat in that seat and has her TV obscured by the hairdo. But really, is it that big of a deal to just ask politely and not be an ass about things? Well, apparently no. Neither of these two gruesome individuals seem to have even an ounce of common decency. One of them felt that it was completely fine to inconvenience a fellow passenger with her ridiculous hairdo, and the other felt that the appropriate reaction to this inconvenience was to stick gum in that hairdo and dip it in coffee. For Pete's sake, even if this is a bogus video made for TikTok views or whatever, you should all just stop it right now. Number 7. Woman Yells at World Hula Hooping Champion America is chock full of prudes, this much is true. The Puritan settlers that went there in the 1600s paved the way for all of the biggest prudes to freak out about nipples and underwear and all the normal stuff that people have. And that legacy still remains today, especially in this park in Las Vegas. Yes, Sin City itself. This is the utterly absurd moment that a woman in Las Vegas yelled at another woman for accidentally exposing her sports bra when she was exercising on the monkey bars. The yelling woman said that it was obscene because there were children there, and yes, it is as insanely ridiculous as it sounds. I mean, does this woman even go to the beach and yell at everyone there too? Anyways, it just so happened that the woman who was showing, heaven forbid, a glimpse of a sports bra. So obscene. Oh my gosh, I, can't, I can't believe you're doing this in our neighborhood. She was the hula hooping champion of the world. Hula hooping is not only the preserve of children in schoolyards in the 1960s, this is a full on serious occupation, and there are people who are making this unusual sport seem surprisingly hip. But really, can everyone just please stop yelling at each other? It's quite enough now. Number 6. Woman Threatens to Call Police About Fish Now finally, it seems as if we would never get to the stupid Reddit story and nonsensical discussion board. I thought that we had thoroughly missed the boat this time. Here we are on Reddit with someone called Shroom. Yes, a person with this name is most definitely legit, and everything that they say will definitely make sense. You can give them a call. And Belmain Police. Yes, you can do that. Yeah, I will. Yes, you could do that. The video that accompanies this nonsense would be uploaded to YouTube for all of those delicious internet-y clicks as well. I mean, who can really resist a Karen video, let alone a fishing Karen? It's all too tantalizing for the plethora of misanthropes and general doom scrollers out there. Anywho, this is Fishing Karen and Shroom, and they're having a row about which nobody understands anything at all. There's a generalized squabble about accusations of killing fish and throwing them back, and then she has to see his license like she's some sort of fishing police. Then they bicker some more, and then finally there's a non-defense defense of this action, and at the end of it, we're all at least 17 brain cells less intelligent. Shall we move swiftly on before we end up with permanent brain damage? Number 5. 
Women in Dipping Sauce Dispute Now look, there's a lot of things on this list which have seemed small and inconsequential and have been blown way out of proportion, resulting in violence and criminal charges. None of those things have made any sense at all. But dipping sauce? Well, that's some serious business. Do not chuff with a lady's dipping sauce, or else. Now, all jokes aside, this descended into utter carnage and resulted in some people becoming injured for simply doing their job. It sucks, and there's really no excuse. Here we are in New York City's Lower East Side, and a video that appears to show a group of women losing their minds over dipping sauce in a fry shop, leading to a violent attack on the staff that were working there at the time. The women had refused to pay for their extra sauce, and it amounted to a couple of dollars, and that's when they attacked workers by throwing glass bottles at them. They followed this by climbing over the counter and tearing the whole store apart. While this mess of violence and destruction is going on, a crowd stands by and watches. They even cheer them on. It's all completely bananas. The women were eventually arrested and faced felony charges, as they should, because this is absolute garbage behavior. Number 4. Women Deliberately Coughing at Shoppers In Arizona, during the event that shall not be named of 2020, one woman took it upon herself to behave in a repulsive and positively dangerous way while in a grocery store. Why? Well, who the heck knows? Why do any of these people act like such irredeemable jerks? I can't even stand it. In fact, I actually hate this woman. She is the actual worst of everything, and given our list of a-holes today, that's really saying something now, isn't it? This particularly loathsome poisonous jerk goes by the name of Janine Hoskovec, but the internet knows her as the coughing Karen. You know, a bit like Typhoid Mary, who was another charming lady. She basically goes around the store deliberately coughing on people and calling them sheep. It's utterly vile behavior and some of the most putrid, dumbest stuff on the internet so far. This stupid, ignorant cretin of a woman literally follows people around the store and coughs on them. A woman and her child, in fact, who were simply trying to get their grocery shopping done and bothering nobody whatsoever. But this disgusting, repugnant, and filthy ignoramus coughs on her as well. Regardless of anyone's personal opinions about anything, mask-related or otherwise, this is just foul and obnoxious behavior at any time, in any place. Anyways, she was then fired from her job after the video went viral. She, however, is still utterly toxic. Number 3. Angry Woman Tries to Bite Officer now, This is all getting pretty miserable at this point now, isn't it? Here we are again with another woman behaving badly, and this one's a biter. There was an arrest warrant out for this woman in Illinois, and the police had turned up at her house to bring her in. She was not going to go quietly, though. The whole scenario plays out like a list of worst things to do when getting arrested, and ends up being an extremely embarrassing and permanent blot on the internet. And this place is forever. Police officers were there to arrest Sean Malarkey on charges of domestic battery, and she really didn't do a whole lot to demonstrate that she was not a violent person. She had, in fact, been accused of hitting her ex-husband with a car. Anyway, she refused to get out of her car when they tried to arrest her. They said, you are under arrest. And she responded, I am not. And it descends into more and more levels of nonsense after that. The whole scene was an absolute shambles. Malarkey cussed and spit and bit and thrashed about in a blind rage like a three-year-old. She had a number of additional charges brought against her and wound up in a whole lot more serious trouble than she was in to begin with. It was all completely absurd and thoroughly shameful. Oh, and her children were there too. Wow, seriously. Number two, woman screams and demands airport manager. Well, it's about time that we headed back to the airport because it seems as if air travel is the situation in which the most extremes of this bad behavior rears its ugly head. Why, oh why, are there bars in airports? Perhaps a whole lot of these ridiculous confrontations and ignorant actions would be less likely if everyone wasn't busy getting totally tanked up minutes before taking to the skies. I mean, it's just an idea. Anyways, this is a woman by the name of Terry Ann, and she appears to have lost her shiz all over the Indianapolis airport. Naturally, there were plenty of nosy parkers with their phones at the ready to film it all and upload it to the interwebs for all of us lucky viewers to enjoy. No, 
It is, of course, a whole expletive-filled rant that culminates in that most entitled of phrases, I want to speak to a manager. Well, she says it a lot less nicely than that, to be honest. The screaming and fury is at full scale, but despite the uh, protesting of Terry Ann, nobody is rushing to her aid in this scene. Perhaps it's because she is utterly batshiz crazy and wildly pointing her finger at everyone else. Who could possibly say? Number 1. Woman Refuses to Wear Mask on Flight The wearing of face coverings has caused a whole heap of heated discussions, especially on public transport and in stores. We've all seen the videos, many of them here today on this very list. And here's another one. A woman on an American Airlines flight was asked to leave when she had failed to comply with the mask wearing policy and then had a massive shouting match with the flight attendant. We don't stand up, it's only gonna get worse! It's a little bit embarrassing to be honest, but once she really gets into the yelling, the rest of the passengers turn and begin to shout at her. There's the general feeling of a vaudeville theater show where the crowd turns nasty and expresses their disapproval. You can almost imagine these passengers throwing their complimentary peanuts at the unfortunate woman. And of course, as is standard, her unseemly encounter is immortalized in video for posterity. Such fun. Well, I've seen all the hot beverage throwing and name calling that I could possibly ever need to see. It feels like I've lost a lot of brain cells, and I kinda hate people right now. But how about you? Did you enjoy all of these furious women and their appalling behaviors? And which one gave you all the feelings of mirth and superiority that you were looking for today? As always, you can let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. And of course, you can just use that space to yell at me about what an absolute tool that you think I am. Go on, you probably need a good venting after all of that rage, don't you? Be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.